Bam, this dude's right into the action. So this is Spectating Randoms. If you guys are new to the series, this is kind of where we go through and talk about how the individuals that we're watching play, not as a negative thing, but more as a learning experience. So if you're interested in improving at the Battle Royale, regardless of solo duos, quads, trios, whatever, or even Rebirth, definitely make sure you hit the like button if you like the content and subscribe if you want to find your way back to the channel. FYI, I do breakdowns on my second channel for Rebirth stuff. So if you have more questions on that, definitely go check that out. So pretty much you can see they've landed over here. The teammate died. They have to kind of regain, get enough money together to buy back their teammate since John Wick didn't make it back from the Gulag. Um, he already has self-revive. That was already uh, on the ground. Um, a lot of times with these situations and duos are, I think duos are one of the hardest modes uh, when it comes to the Battle Royale because... It's like the combination of what we see in solos where it's a little bit more campy, but then you got to deal with the two campers holding two different lanes, which makes it a little bit trickier. Um, it's probably my least favorite of the modes. I'd probably go trios number one, then quads, then solos, and then duos. Because uh, at least solos, it's pretty straightforward strategies to win. Uh, you loot up, you get your loadout, you end up with the vehicle with the trophy. Maybe you get some stopping power, dead silence action going on. And then you're ready to go for end game. You third party the last two teams or last two players. And then you get a win. Um, duo is a little bit different. You got to worry about all the players that are regaining. Because half the lobby ends up in a scenario like this. Where you end up having to worry about getting your teammate back. Um, because they went to the gulag a little too early. So that's what all it looks like they're doing. They're trying to regain. They did get two kills. They probably killed the guy who killed their teammate. And then now they've gone and killed the other guy that we just saw right at the beginning of this. You can hear the chest. I'm not as familiar with this building yet. Um, they might not be either. Uh, maybe they heard some footsteps, but overall, um, you're kind of getting used to it. I haven't landed in this area since the update. But it's a nice change. RPD is a really good weapon here. Um, one issue that came up in the last video is a lot of times people were asking, well, why does it look like they're, they're not hitting any of their shots? What's going on? What happens is when you spectate, the game, it's a, a visual like glitch where they, this person currently has 94 latency, millisecond latency, and 94 ping. Um, so what happens is what we see is a little desync from what they see. So anytime there's hit markers on the screen, they're actually hitting the target and it looks like they're hitting the target on their screen, but the, it's gonna cause a little bit of desync. Right here, I don't even know if that's worth doing, especially without your loadout guns. You're not really like beaming it. I would have popped out the RPD again. Um, because what do you do in that situation? You're just making a lot of noise for yourself. You have enough money to get back your teammate. Um, and you should be making, there it is. Caused a lot of attention. That's probably the footsteps he heard earlier. I don't know how he survived, but he's got to get out of here. I hear another set of footsteps. I thought I heard another set. Oh yeah. You heard the door to the left. Yeah. Yeah. So now he's in between these two guys. They could be separate teams. They're pushing up on his right. You can hear the footsteps. And then there's the guy in this building. Um, if you're going to exit this situation, I would head towards this building. And then maybe go to the top and then... Damn, he just beamed him. I didn't think he was going to run out like that. That was a team shooting. Even though they were on opposite teams, you know. He kind of third partied that with the other guy. I did not think that... Oh, there he is. Right up top. Right up top. Right up top. Your guys are both blind. Nice. And that wasn't even FOV thing. Switch to your RPD. You can wall bang that. There it is. Nice. I'm surprised this guy survived. He was blind and that wasn't an FOV thing. That dude is in literally in the middle of the screen. <clears throat> wow. See, that's where I think one of those things would be useful like rebirth. Where you get it down, it would at least do that little pulse to tell you if somebody's in the general area. Um, even if they have ghost or not, it would do a little bit of a ping. Uh, and it would show it the same way Rebirth. You heard the footsteps, someone like crouch walking. Now they're walking up the top. Again, this one I'd back off, right? To try and get your teammate. that like Because two of you is better than none. And there's a lot of action going on. What the heck? People are fine, unsuppre firing unsuppressed weapons everywhere. That'll end in the next minute and a half. Have eyes on aid station. 
the the ping the teammates like get to there yeah like i said i would go to this building right here go to the top uh because it still has good height advantage i'd look over at this one and then if it looked clear i would jump down glide across and then do the buy there um or you can get in a vehicle you can rotate around this side Oop. he just got sniped that was it literally out in the open taking his damn time that's what happens people are a little bit too hesitant Obviously, there was still somebody in the area, but I felt like he had uh, ample time to get out of there. This one's using a key, a kilo VLK. His teammate's fighting. They are bounty hunting. His teammate just got downed. He might be able to pull out. Ooh, almost. His teammate backed out. So there was a random. So there were randoms queued. His teammate literally left the match. No faith. It's like, you still hurt your KD. There's no point in leaving at that point. Guess uh, you don't want to go to the Gulag. So now this guy's in a solo 2v1 situation, most likely. I only saw the one guy there. But who knows? It could be two. And he's getting third party from across the way. And he is gone. Who are we going to spectate now? It looks like he probably left the match, too. Damn. We have not left Promenade. Let's get out of here. Okay, so there's the building that I recommended the guy go to. Um, this guy is needs more money. He doesn't know about this other guy down low. He's running Amax Mac 10, which is still a solid build, especially for uh, duos. Is the other guy going to pick him off? What the heck's going on? He was just able to jump down. Another thing that a lot of people had issues with is last time we had a match where we spectated a hacker. And I, I commented, I said, well, the guy's only level 47. And people were like, well, I'm only level whatever. We can't no life the game. The dude was prestige zero. Most of you guys that are playing this game, if it's been out for an entire year, even if you, the guy had 20 matches played. So if you're prestige zero at any point right now, usually it's a brand new account. Trying to make new stats, or they're a hacker, or a cheater, you know? So he called that in, provides a little bit of cover, a lot of noise. He gets a ghost class. Still needs about 600 for his teammate, though. In this case, they might know each other, uh, only because the, the random hasn't left yet. Normally, if you don't know each other, they usually leave almost instantaneously. Because imagine waiting like four minutes just to get this guy killed uh, at some point, right? So it looks like they were both alive when they got the first loadout because the first loadout's already despawned. Should be listening just for some chest at this point. Got enough. This is going to be a hard name to look up, too. Hopefully, he has it uh, uh, accessible because that's a little tricky there. Oh, get the res off first, man. They're fighting. Let them worry about it. For whatever reason, this area is super hot. Heartbeat the area real quick. I would get next to this wall. There it is. Just at least a heartbeat it, even though people likely have ghosts at this point. There's a Bertha over here at fire that somebody is in. It turned red for a quick second, so there's probably somebody ready to rotate there. Teammate's going to be in a good spot. All you do is kind of got to pay attention. Um, when your teammate comes in, maybe provide a little bit of cover. So then they can get to that loadout pretty, pretty smooth. Teammate is getting railed. Well, now that kind of sucks because if you peek this, they're going to know where you're at. There's some loot up top that they, from the guy he shot. His teammate could probably still grab that. Satchel. 
I would drop the plates, grab the satchel, so you can give the plates to your teammate. I don't know why he's channeling this like this. I guess the teammate's gonna grab the satchel. That works too. I hope he grabs it. He didn't grab the satchel. Okay, now they just wasted five plates. Should have dropped the plates for his teammate, then picked up the satchel. By the way, he's back up uh, to probably full here. And his teammate's getting demolished. I didn't hear anything. Those guys probably had dead silence. You can hear it now. I didn't hear anything underneath. Easy. The other one was on the other side. There it is. Smart peek. Oh, clean. He smoked Count both of them. Look at that sliver of health. This guy's actually pretty decent. There's only 31 players left in the lobby. Something's going on. There's got to be. It's only zone two. The lobby instantaneously died. Like... That's not normal. Damn, that's low. Ghost has a bounty on his head. These guys had no money. How unfortunate. So, even in this case, it seemed like this player is pretty solid. I don't know what their stats are, but I would say they're definitely above average. Um, but the whole point is to, like, even micro-analyze some of the things that they could do better. And maybe look at situations that we're in ourselves... Uh, because no matter how good you are, there's definitely room for improvement. Um, or how bad you are, there's definitely ways to improve to a certain skill ceiling, whatever that threshold may be. That's uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. You only know how much time you're willing to invest in improving specific aspects of the game. But I guarantee you, the better you perform, the more you will generally enjoy the game. He does have a vehicle. He's going to be able to rotate back. Like I said, that Red Bertha is still just randomly sitting there. It's not the same one that was here. Oh, it just disappeared. Somebody got in it. No, what the heck? Oh, it's because he's out of range. Never mind. But it's weird. It's bugged. It's not popping up on the, the mini-map um, when he's out of range. Somebody's going to be full sending him. Luckily, he's going to be able to get some distance here. Revive his teammate. Um, the loadout's still sitting there. And that area should be fairly clear because pretty much all the action that happened, almost everyone's out of that area. These were one of the best additions to the game, these little supply runs. I don't think people, like, remember how it was, like, before to regain. I mean, there was a lot more scat. Oh, shoot. Whoa, this dude is on it. He actually got it down? No, we got the, we got the, the cracked out god here. This dude got some moves. Holy crap, this guy finessed those. He, he twerked. <laughs> oh, man. I think that's probably one of the best plays. Um, like, to recover. That I'll, I think we've ever spectated. Because regardless if you're getting a diamond or a bronze lobby, there's always going to be players that are, like, above average, middle, you know, average, or below average. It's just the luck of the draw who we end up spectating, right? Even though he doesn't have a lot of kills... Clearly an ab above average player, especially after that Vanessa right there. I didn't even know he downed the other one because obviously we don't get the notification saying he downed. It popped up, but it was like so quick. Damn, that was nuts. Good good on them. Um, Not much they can do in the zone. You can see that there's two cars here. Likely people rotated to this right side. Um, This, this is a normal uh, Bertha spawn. This one is not, I don't believe. So that one might be a little bit wonky. There might be people on this building or around here near that by. Uh, this one is not one. This is, online. I believe it that's is one. Here. So that's what you really got to look at, especially in, in lower squad modes. Why don't these guys have loadouts yet? They're firing unsuppressed they weapon here. right here. You can see they move the vehicle from there to there. But they are on this one. They should be pinging this. Um, I would 100% be pinging it. Even though you have a UAV, your UAV is going to run out before you get there. So I'd be trying to ping what building they're in. Now they've already despawned. Um, they got ghost. Or they died. 
one of the two, right? Or they took off in the vehicle. He actually took off in the SUV. So there's still going to be people here, but they likely have ghosts. And that guy's just trying to probably regain, get out of there heck, as fast as they can. This player is actually pretty good. They're just playing a little bit slower because they're probably playing with one of their buddies. Maybe, I don't know. Pretty solid though. That was probably one of the better clutches we've seen from randoms. I, I would I would bet almost 100%. Somebody buy a loadout over there? I mean, he didn't really look at it that closely, but it looked like a little bit of red smoke out there. I can't tell. He's not looking at that left side long enough. He's peeking through all the buildings. Uh, he's kind of calling out the guns probably for his teammates so they can get guns. He's like, hey, there's Amax. There's a shield. There's a whatever, whatever. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that's a good loadout. Yeah, he's probably sherping. Let's see. This guy got the one kill. So we spectated the right dude most of the time. That's what we started with, but it is what it is, you know? He has some stick drift. So definitely a controller player. Um, quick fix for that. Options. Go to controller and set your dead zone a little bit higher. If your dead zone has to go above like an 8 or a 9, then you probably need a new controller. I know it's easier said than done, uh, but yeah, it's kind of one of those things that it will start to impact your aim uh, once it gets a little higher. Uh, they are touching, so the, the footsteps could be a little bit wonky. Sound like somebody was right next to him, but it could have been like his teammate. They're still looking at the guns. MP5 is pretty solid. AMAC still. Still going to be rocking with this MAC-10. A lot of people ask why I didn't include the MAC-10 in my top 10 loadouts. I think in solos and duos, it's probably going to be like the main go-to. As you get to trio and quads, there's just better options um, because of the mag uh, per damage. Mistake, right, damage per mag output. The amount of people you can down and thirst with the mag of that gun versus the bullfrog versus the versus the lc10 uh versus the mp5s it, it is way more damage output per mag um this one just has incredibly fast fire rate of around 1100 rpm so it kind of offsets that a little bit more forgiving easier to use but in quads trios not as useful this guy obviously knows somebody spectating now he's like yeah somebody show this is a good building to, to watch um, I mean, this one's going to be probably contested from over here. I believe this is uh, that house that they were at earlier. Um, yeah, we don't know where the rotation is. So if you're playing for a win at this point, I would be peeking windows, watching this side as people come up. There's a heli. I would mark the heli to see where they land. They might have been doing recons. They got out, so they're probably up on this hill. I would have marked that. So this guy's looking around, seeing. I would be peeking to try and get some easy third-party kills. This guy has an Amax and the XM4. See, there they are. There's two people Wait, rotating up. They're going to come up over the hill. And those would be really easy kills. Um, let's go back to his teammate. They have to rotate towards you. Team got dumpstered. They're pushing the building pretty aggressively. He's going to hold it for him. Not making any noise. Going to heartbeat. They're probably heartbeating him. But he has ghost. They're going to try and push. His teammate should not have jumped. There it is. They got the kills. Yeah, his teammate shouldn't necessarily have jumped that quickly. Uh, but it worked. Maybe, it, maybe. I mean, I guess it could have been good timing. I'm not hearing the comms. But yeah, as soon as he jumped, he turned around. And they thought, I mean, for sure they knew he wasn't one guy. Because of how quick he got resed, unless it was self-revive. I mean, that was a pretty, pretty tricky situation. Either way, he was able to get the kill by shooting the guy in the back. Yeah, this guy actually played it good. He knows he has ghosts. His teammate doesn't. So maybe the, the enemies did think it was legit. Only one guy. They never saw him push up to res him. That's one thing that's kind of good if one person runs ghosts and the other doesn't. 
he definitely knows someone's spectating. But I'm really surprised that the lobby died this quick. I would hate for these guys to lose to a cheater because he's had a very good game. See if anything's going on with this guy. He managed to win the going gunfight with these floor like loadout guns. Again, can't really do anything for about 25 seconds because you got to see where the zone shifts. Three other teams, five other players. So almost everyone's a full team except for one. They have a lot of money but literally can't do anything with it. Nor can anyone else. So nobody else is coming back. You just got to keep your head kind of on a swivel to see what people are doing. Uh, yeah, you'd have to work to this next building over. Moving this here. next one, he's marking it. He's like telling him, yeah, we got to get in this building. Move there as quick as possible. Hold it. Clear it out. Double check. No one's in like any kind of closet. And then you're good. You just hold this. There might be one team still like in this general area. Um, but the vast majority are going to be coming from over here. We know that this helicopter went on this side. So they're going to probably be on this. Um, they crashed the heli. So they're out in the field somewhere on, on this hill. Like where the ridge comes over. So they can watch the whole side. There it is. He sees okay. one. So you know some are over there. Easy. They're, everyone's going to be out in the open. And downstairs, they have a better window that looks out to that side. So if you go right here to the right, he can look out the window from this little side area. He's trying to peek. But like I said, downstairs would be a better look because you could look out this left side there's people fighting. You can see the, the dots on the screen over here. There it is. The team just died. So it's 2v1v2. Hard ship. That was the helicopter people. They already knew where it was going to end. Okay, his teammate broke the glass, made all kinds of noise. Yeah, you got to wrap hard right. Double check no one's over you. Their last team's fighting. Third party it. You can see he's behind that rock. There he is on your right. They're on me. You can see the gunfire was coming from there. I didn't actually see the character model. Nice clean. Use a nade. Use a nade. Nice. Good clutch there. The a 2v1. Zone. He should have used his nade, but he ended up, the guy ended up peeking. Especially when you got one down, you could throw nades. Teammate finished the last kill. Contact. He pinged him. That's all you needed. Comes up. Easy. Oh, this is going to be tough. Nice. Easy kill. This guy actually did really solid. Solid player. I mean, it was like the second person we spectated. They carried all the way through at several clutch moments. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor. Hit the like button if you're brand new and want to find your way back. Just double check. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.